Ladies and gentlemen, I regret that I cannot be with you today. Two weeks ago, I took part in Let's Clean Up Europe. I was part of a clean-up operation in the harbour where I grew up, back in Malta. Now, happily for my own village, there was a lot less plastic waste than at last year's clean-up. Because of this and the efforts made, I had a sense of pride in the town where I grew up. So I can only imagine your own sense of pride that across Europe there were 4,000 Let's Clean Up Europe events. That is a tremendous achievement and one about which you really should be happy. The best campaigns are the ones that don't just get people to sign up, but actually get them to be active. That is what instills a sense of community spirit. And it struck me that when thousands of people in 28 countries choose to roll up their sleeves and clean up their own neighborhoods, this is not only an environmental improvement, but it is also an economic one. That is the kind of community spirit that the EU wants to foster and promote. This is fundamental. It confirms that a strong environment can help the economy and a strong economy can also help the environment and both help our community. To give you an idea, cleaning up our coasts and beaches alone can cost up to 630 million euro a year. So, the environmental and economic contribution of voluntary initiatives like the ones organized by the EWWR is highly invaluable. It is a fact that your initiatives continue to grow and mobilize more citizens around Europe year on year. And this shows that people are working hard for a more sustainable economy in Europe. And the more people demand new standards, the more companies will take note. The thousands of volunteers that you mobilized have real power, not only as part of the cleanup, but also as consumers. They represent consumers who know that it is time to shift towards a more circular model of production. Where consumers go, industry and production methods will follow. Like you, I have made the circular economy one of my priorities. We know what our industries need to be competitive. Access to affordable, sustainably sourced, low-carbon materials that can be recycled. The European Commission is committed to a new and a more ambitious circular economy package. This autumn, we will present our proposal it will include a revised legislative proposal on waste targets. It will take into account and address the big differences in waste management across Europe. It will also contain an action plan which will look at the wider aspects of the circular economy. We will make sure countries receive the level of support, the pull and push measures that they need to deliver good waste management. We need to ensure that products are designed to be repaired, to be reused, recycled and then remanufactured. For this, we need to ensure there is a real market for the secondary raw materials in the European Union. Happily, Many tools are already at our disposal. We can stimulate the transition to a circular economy and boost private investment in the sector. We can use legislation, incentives and financial support such as the new European Fund for Strategic Investments. The challenges may be big, but the potential is even bigger. And rapid progress is also possible. Take Estonia, for example. The Estonian government 
adopted the right measures in 2010 and went from a landfilling rate of 78% to just 15% in the space of only three years. As part of the process from mid-May to mid-July, we are running an online public consultation on the circular economy. A stakeholder conference is also planned for June 25th in Brussels. Please make sure to participate so that we can build as detailed a picture, a picture as possible. The initiatives you will be celebrating later on today, through the awards, can also make a big difference. On behalf of the Commission and myself, I want to congratulate the nominees and the European Week for Waste Reduction. The EWWR has brought us an entirely new level of public awareness on the three R's, reuse, reduce, recycle. I do have to say that your outreach is impressive and the recent success of the European Cleanup Day bears testament to all that. I wish you the very best for today's talks and for the award ceremony, and I look forward to hearing from you. You have inspired thousands of people, you achieved a positive result, and you built a real sense of community. For all this and a lot more, thank you and congratulations.